testing the signal here in uh, New London, Minnesota. We're testing uh, Channel 7 KCCO up there in Westport. And the test site is in New London, Minnesota. Testing the WineGuard 8200U with also a WineGuard amp 8275. So, and uh, there's a little breeze out there. It's October 7th. Uh, let's check the time. It's almost, it's 4.56, October 7th. And we're going to switch the channels here, the RF channels. we got an RF7. And then I'll check channel 9 signal. That's KMSP out of Shoreview. We'll check 10 out of Appleton. Highlight that. All right, we'll check CARE 11 out of Shoreview. Channel 12 in Louisville. And like I said, there is a breeze out there. We'll go out there too to check out the fall colors, leaves falling off the trees on October 7th. So that's KEYC out of Louisville, that's quite a ways away to receive that channel. Translator Station in Wilmer WCW RF 14. This is also Translator Station in Wilmer for CARE 11. This is RF 19 for KSAX in Wilmer and you can tell that the, the wind plays a role on that channel not very stable RF 22 for WUCW out of uh, Shoreview as you can see the wind does, does not affect their signal, very strong signal off the uh, Shoreview Towers. And like I said, we're, our location's in New London, Minnesota. We're between New London and Howick, uh, between, uh, on Highway 23 out here, or close to Highway 23, between Highway 23 and some county roads. TPT. RF-23 seems to be the strongest channel coming off the Shoreview Towers for a public TV channel. Um, the wind may affect it a little bit, but otherwise the signal seems pretty stable. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? That's uh, TBN, RF-28, Translator Station in Wilmer. Now since I converted over to a bigger antenna, we have uh, RF-29 KMSP from the Twin Cities. And you're looking at, oh, 95 miles from those towers. That's impressive. So their, their channel there, RF-29, is doing real well since I uh, changed the uh, antenna. All right. This is also going to be KMSP. This is a translator station out of Wilmer. 
And there isn't too much difference between these two when you think about it. I mean, one's from the cities, one's from Shoreview, and the other one, this RF30, that's from Wilmer. So you can see not much difference there in the signal reading. And they're pretty stable, as you can tell. So I guess you can uh, pick whatever channel there that you want. It won't even matter. Um, so RF29 is doing real well, and RF30 from Wilmer is doing real well. All right. RF32 WCCO, Channel 4, out of the Twin Cities. Pretty, it looks like it's a stable signal, comes in very well here. We got some wind outside on October 7th here, 2017, or I should say 2017. Okay. RF-34, nothing. So basically we're not receiving any signal from the Twin Cities and we're not receiving any signal from Wilmer. And uh, well they got two uh, RF channels or two, uh, two signals coming out so I think what they're doing is a have a tug of war and they're fighting each other and basically it just cancels it out so one of the channels should change their RF channel and you know and that may make a difference in what would occur here in western Minnesota if that would change but uh, Wilmer hasn't changed it and the Twin Cities hasn't changed it. Oh no, no, I lost it. We'll go back here. All right, RF35, KSTP, channel five. As you can tell, that's a pretty stable signal up there. Doing real well from the distance, from 95 miles from the Shoreview Towers. All right, this is going to be ion. This is going to be that KPXM, and this is a translator station in Wilmer. And you're going to see that there's a little flex there, but all of them have a little bit of that and then I'll put it to the same channel on RF40 but that's going to be coming from Big Lake and that's going to be a little bit better a stronger signal their tower is pretty tall one of the tallest towers here in Minnesota so that channel is also going to be changing um, it's going to be changing to RF16 I believe but it's RF40 now, but uh, maybe next year it may change to RF16. So we'll see what the signal is then. Another change will be coming, RF42. That's going to be changing to RF24, KSAX up there in Alexandria. So watch for these changes. Next year that may change to RF24. RF, okay, we got R44 for KWCM. That's a translator station out of Wilmer. RF45. That may also change in the future. RF45 may change to RF30. That may be a problem here in Wilmer. Wilmer also has an RF channel 30. They may collide with each other, causing issues. So, I mean, a, a more powerful station may, uh, it's almost like a radio station. The most powerful station 